back to the official with Gummy and Tools. It is time for hot tea, small shade. Just a little bit. Just small. Yeah. Just small. Just a tip. So All right. it's no news that Odumodu Black is very, very controversial. Um, in the past, he's been talked about on Twitter for being misogynistic in a way. You know, he's, some of his tweets in the past have been very problematic. Now, he has this new song that even shocked Burner Boy. So the lyrics go something like, if she know f if she knows how will she pay for her wig and bag? If she know f knows f who will pay for her wig and bag? I mean, what do you think about the lyric? See, I think that for me, I don't like that. But then, um, Odumodi Black also has a song called MC Uliomo, which mm -hmm. for me, I was like, okay. It's like he but, quotes controversy. Yes, but I think we are at a, and this is, this is, it's difficult to say this because I feel like, you know when your parents would listen to like music you're listening to and they're like, ah, what, what are they saying? You so cool, so well on, so. I feel that that's where we are because why am I listening to a song? Put Odumudu Black aside for a while. Why am I listening to a song that says what? My booty hole brown, my Why am I dancing to that? I, I don't like that song. That is nasty. I don't so like I think that song. there's like so many songs now, you're, you're dancing, you're dancing, you're like, wait, what did they just say? So I just think there are like lots of lyrics that need to be like revised. Now, if you're gonna talk about how offensive that is, and I saw this conversation on Twitter as well, people were like, well, why is it that people are getting offended because Odumudu Black said that when Cardi B said, um, broke niggas don't deserve no p I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's basically it's basically talking about transactional sex, mm -hmm. and this conversation has gone on and on and on. So people are quite rightly saying, "Well, why is it that he can say it, um, or he can't say it, but Cardi B can?" I just think that everybody just needs to. What happened to good wholesome lyrics? Wholesome lyrics. How many wholesome songs do mm. you know at the top of the charts right now? Uh, I was actually, I, was, I thought you were going to go somewhere else. Oh. I thought you were going to say, oh, what about you and like your love for, you know, you know one of my favorite songs is still to my uku, do -do 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 -do. Hey, that was my jam, man. <laughs> but that but song that is was... a homage to, yes. you know, African to women. African women. Yes. You know, yes. even all I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. That can be translated, I don't think that's bad. It, so it is what? Because, okay, think about it now. It was my husband's birthday recently. If he says all I want for my birthday, that's me. That's a love song. Are you a hoe? I could be. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. Don't yeah. keep that in. No, keep Don't it. keep that in. <laughs> keep it, keep it, keep it. Anyway, let's move on. You are telling something about the Guinness Book of Records. Guinness Book of Records said to ban Nigerians. That's not true, but they should because Nigerians are wilding out. What on earth is going on? I Why are you washing motion. your hands and trying to make that Guinness Book? No, it, it wasn't what she was. It was I mean, a, sorry, it, washing your clothes rather. Yes. Washing your clothes and trying like, to make that. My problem is why are you people copycats? Before Hilda Bassi and there was Kathy this. and all this other, well, Who's that? Who's that? Chef Dami, I know, like, she's going through trials and tribulations yes, right now. Yes, yes, we are I with love her. To you, we are with Chef her. Chef Dami. Yes. But uh, I don't even think you should be called a chef if you've not gone to culinary school. But that's another conversation for another day. But let's keep it moving. Why is it that you're trying to break every record under the sun because you want to have Guinness Book of Records? Did you not think of any other thing to do with your life? Like, why? Okay. So if you think about it, right, if you think about, you know, where we are as a country, if you think about the amount of people that are living below the poverty line and everything, mm -hmm. if you think about the success mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, breaking this record had for Hilda, Maybe I should do something like that. So for me, I can understand, but it is just th there are different things you could do. Why is a talent? Yeah. Right. Right. Washing clothes is it a talent? But there, there are lots of like random records. They've got like the longest. I mean, there was know. this guy who came to Nigeria. He's a tightrope walker. Yeah. And decided to walk the tightrope over Marina. Did you see that? I saw that. I was just like, <laughs> I found that funny. Why? But <laughs> I found that funny. I was like, God bless you. Elbow. So I get it, but at the same time, I think we've just overdone it. I'm sure like the Guinness Book of Records people are like, oh, Nigerians no, again. No, but I think they like it because um, they like they've never. I don't think they've ever received Had that much this traffic, much right? traffic. They even, I mean, even though somebody has broken her record, they still invited her to yeah. their uh, office yeah. somewhere in the UK and she did an interview and all these things. So it's fine, whatever, It's just man. a bit, like, if you were to break a Guinness Book of Records of any kind, what will you do? So what can I do? I really thought about that. Like, after, she, after Hilda broke the record, I was like, what can I do? I was like, ah, is it sleep? <laughs> Maybe is it sleep or is it... I was... I can't even say stuff like... Okay, what about us? What, what, what do you think we should... Gossip? 
gossip. I don't like gossip. I prefer exchange of information. So we can exchange information yes. for hours and hours and hours. Possibly. And, possibly, and days. So and possibly. I tried to do this thing where, you know, there was something that I posted. Mm -hmm. uh, this is after Hilda broke that record. Mm -hmm. There was something that I posted where um, there was this woman that she had like um, a child or like, was it a, a child standing on like her backside? And I thought I'd, I could do that. I could, apparently I can't. So I failed at that. I don't know if there's any record I can like break. Yeah. Let's move on, please. Thank longest, you. Longest, um, sleep, <laughs> longest sleep ever. Yeah, that's that's me. Let's move on. So okay. Israel DMW and his wife have been in the news lately. The only thing I knew about him and his wife um, before this, or before, I didn't even know about the wife, was that of him was that he used to be very excited when Davido would be around. You know, he was very, he's very, very fond of Davido. Um, but he got married apparently last year and the marriage is not even up to a year old and they've broken up. So the story is, from what I've gathered and the unnecessary gist online, is that, okay, so he, he sought her out because she was a virgin this is a man in his allegedly in his 40s and she's a, she was a 21 year old virgin at that time um and within months of meeting her decided that he wanted to get married oh, i think almost immediately basically wanted to get married to her went to meet her father etc etc they got married and they are no longer together and from her point of view, she says that she wanted to uplift him. She wanted him to build something and not just be shaken up and down for um, his boss. And he decided to, you know, he said, oh, that um, I lifted, that he, I gave you money for this, gave you money for that. Like I changed, a phone or something. Yeah, I changed your, you know. your cheap 70K phone to the latest iPhone. I did this for you. Money, 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 yeah. money, this. And then another one, he goes, oh, a married woman says she's going away to Abuja for what? This and that and that. Like, like, it's just, they're slinging accusations back and forth. What do you think of the whole situation? You don't care? I just don't, I, I'm just thinking, what, what, what did she think was going to happen if your man is there, doubling, left and right, rolling on the floor, all of that? Like, for me, anytime I saw that, it's just so cringe. I think you can be loyal to somebody. I mean, there's so many people mm -hmm. in this industry that we know that are, like, very, very loyal to, you know, if, if they're... Their benefactor. Yeah, and I just, you know... So, like, I just, because I, I was... Uh, when I saw they were getting married, I was like, huh, I wonder how she really feels about, you know, seeing her husband just rolling on the, the floor. The first thing that, that concerned... I didn't even know she was that young. first thing that concerned me was... How old is she? She's 21, or okay. she was 21 or 22. Yeah. The age gap between them, um, from the way she types and the way she speaks, you can tell that... She seems to have some more education than he has. Are you saying so, that Israel's is uneducated? I didn't say that, but she's a lot more eloquent than him. Okay. So that again was like, hmm. I there were so many disparities. I don't mean to be mean. What? I don't think I've heard him actually. But to be honest, I don't actively seek him out. But I don't think I've heard him say more than stuff like Twale, Baba, all of that stuff. So I don't know. Can he string a sentence together? Two said that he's his. You know what? Let's just move on. The, but look, I don't. I, I you, you know what? You know what? But this again, this smile is but, because I don't really have anything nice to say. Right. <laughs> so just enjoy my smile, people. You know what? I see. I see. I see faults on both ends. On one end, I feel like if you were uncomfortable with the way he was conducting himself in public, why did you marry? Then him? you shouldn't have married him. One. Two. Um, also, he made emphasis on the fact that she was a virgin. She was a virgin. She was a virgin. Just because somebody is a virgin doesn't mean that they are going to be everything you want them to be in marriage. Okay, but good luck to both of them. We good wish luck them, to both you know, of them. Good luck to both yeah. of them. Good luck to the rolling on the floor and everything.